the uh, Indian foundry industry is the third largest foundry industry in the world. Uh, China by far is the largest with about 45 million tons, followed by the US at 10 million tons, 12 million tons, and India with 10 million tons of uh, production. Our install capacity is roughly 15 million uh, tons. So we are at about 60-65% of the capacity we are uh, utilizing in India. This capacity has been added in the, in the three to four years ago based on uh, potential demand. The foundry industry generally reflects the economy as a whole because our products are used in a whole wide spectrum of uh, products. We are an intermediary industry. Our products go into automotive, transportation, commercial vehicles, tractors, power, power plants, compressors, valves, etc., railways. Wherever you see a mechanical object, the, the foundry industry is there. <coughs> the foundry industry has added this capacity in the last few years. And of course, for reasons all well known, the, the requirement has not picked up. With the present Government of India's uh, emphasis on make in India and manufacturing in India, uh, we in the industry are here with cautious optimism. We are seeing some green shoots in specific industries like uh, automotive and commercial vehicles. Hopefully with the push on the infrastructure spending, the other industry, the other customers or our end users, their demand will also pick up. With that in mind, uh, the industry is there with cautious optimism. But at the same time, at present, we are only doing around 60% of our uh, capacity. In the international market, uh, China is our biggest uh, competitor. However, in the past couple of years, the pr China pressure we have not seen in certain segments. We cannot take uh, talk about the industry as a whole because the industry itself, the foundry industry itself, plays in many different segments. Therefore, some segments may be facing uh, huge threats from China, other segments do not. So we cannot say, uh, put, uh, give a universal de uh, declaration. But however, China with its huge capacity and cost, cost advantage, is definitely a threat to the uh, industry. Uh, however, Chinese uh, imports from China of, of castings is not significant till date. The Indian, indus Indian foundry industry has been able to uh, meet the uh, local demands in terms of pricing, quality and oh. delivery. But of course, uh, we have to be uh, very careful on seeing what China can do because it can do immense damage. In terms of investment, the foundry industry is already over invested. We are only uh, running at two thirds of our capacity. One third of our capacity is still uh, available. But once that uh, capacity is used up, then as per the government projections, the foundry industry needs to again double its capacity. And in order to double the capacity, a lot of capital is required, as well as a long gestation period. Uh, this call should be, will be taken by the foundry industry in maybe 12 to 18 months, seeing how the uh, growth trends are and the existing capacity is used. The challenges we face, foundry industry face, is I think as common as any manufacturing industry in India. The challenges being a high cost of capital, skill availability, natural resources, availability of natural uh, re resources, and transaction costs. These are the challenges, uh, as well as last but not the least, availability of quality and consistent energy power. These are the challenges we, will, uh, we are facing and we will face when we, uh, in our growth path. Yes, uh, definitely uh, consolidation will take place. Um, there'll be, we feel, some M&A activities in the, when we get into the larger scale. 
See, the foundry industry operates in a wide spectrum, right from a cottage industry all the way to uh, a very big capacity. So uh, there will be a consolidation uh, as, we, as we move forward, and uh, the best will win. IAF is working closely with the government. We've been working on it for the last two years. As a result, the uh, Foundry Development Council has been formed by the DIPP. They have recognized us as the mother industry, IF. We are working with the government on the skill development uh, program, as well as certain other initiatives we have taken with the government. We are beginning to see some fruit.